Patreon member shout out. Don't know one damn thing about me. Keep looking down on me. I am more than you'll ever be. Cut me deep and I won't bleed. Gonna kick, kick, kick me when I'm down. By all means, put me through hell and I'll make you see. I am your worst enemy. Gotta kick, kick, kick me when I'm down. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with a VV only update video. If you guys are new, welcome, or not welcome back, all of y'all. I'm gonna say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Before we get started, everyone comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm, and a uh, free way help to help support the channel. Non free ways are joining Patreon or by smashing that thanks button down below. It'd be really great. So, to preface this, this is going to rustle a lot of Jimmy's here. That This entire video is going to rustle a lot of Jimmy's, and it, it needs to be said. So I'm going to read you a couple of things right now, one of which, uh, you know, I'll just start with Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> I'll start with that. So we have one person saying, I agree with the naysayers, there's too many mints, VV overcharging big time also. Um, I don't know if y'all have, if y'all have heard, uh, but there is a Star Wars Celebration live stream uh, that, that happens pretty much the live streaming the whole event. Not only is there 60,000 people there. Which if everybody wanted a lightsaber, maybe they could get one. You know, one each. You know, that, but if everyone wanted a, a common, they couldn't. But you know, the stream ended about six hours ago, and there's a total of nine hundred fifty thousand people that have viewed that. Let me repeat that. There are about nine hundred fifty thousand people that had watched the Thursday, the opening day event of this, where they had they had John Favreau and Dave Filoni there. Cool, yeah. Um, you know that. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito didn't even speak. We had the Emperor there. You know, he was cool. You know, Lord Sidious. Um, the, uh, the views are only going to go up on these as they get more and more intense over the next couple of a couple of days. You get uh, an additional 1% of those people, which, you know, Star Wars fans are crazy Star Wars fans. Most likely you'll get 10%. But let's just say to start out, we get 1%. You know, we double our, our daily active users. Uh, you know, go from like 9,000 to, to like 18,000, you know, give or take. Um, how many of those, and, that, and that's just Star Wars. So, when somebody says, by the way, they're too expensive, again, when the people that are saying that, and I'm sorry this is going to rustle some jimmies, either don't have money or, either don't have money or never had money. And I don't want to come off as this like pompous guy that has, uh, you know, this rich lifestyle. Clearly I don't. I live in this like old people house and you know six years ago in the same boat six years ago like today i was in the deserts of kuwait i was sweating my butt off and i didn't i had a car back in the states that i didn't pay off yet um i have no shame in where i came from came from the mountains of peru <laughs> wound up going to kuwait for a little while and uh, yeah I, I say that because i just i happen to be around those types of people whether it's in, you know, when I was in finance, or whether it's in, you know, the high-end Pokemon cards, or, or now, where I have a bunch of, bunch of whales talking to me all the time. What, I, I feel like the, I, I feel like a celebrity, I know I'm not, but it's a lot of people that are in this project, or want to get around, that, that have a lot of money. Oh, Randy, like, for whatever reason. I, <laughs> they, they like me, I guess, I don't know. Um, but just to bring you guys a little wisdom here, and honestly, this should be something that would be like a Patreon tier thing, that, but again, information should be free. There are people out there that don't get out of bed for like, oh, $100,000, nope, too cheap. Oh, it's only, this, no. Like, so, you know, when, when I, you know, I had one of the high-end trophy cards as well. Actually, I know that intimately more than probably almost anyone on the planet. And there are people, like, I would get serious offers every week, uh, you know, while I had that card. And... I can tell you now, I see the same thing happening with Grails. I mean, comics are their own separate thing, but on the app you got Secret Rare Spider-Man, which I've had, the Walt, which I currently have, uh, you got the uh, the Todd and the Riso as well, which I've had in the past as well. Uh, all those are undervalued, Star Wars is undervalued. When you have somebody comments on one of my videos <laughs> saying, uh, good for you, uh, and Disney, because Disney can sell you garbage to people like you who think some Mickey model, uh, 3D, 3D model is going to be worth 100k uh, in dollars. Yeah, 100% it will. Um, these type of comments make me laugh. I screenshot them because uh, I, I make them like NFTs in the future. 
the amount of people that are hardcore Disney, even even the people that aren't, because again, I've had people you know ask for Pokemon cards or say, hey, where do I get this card? That are not in Pokemon. They don't care about Pokemon. They, they just want the best of the best. They just want money to spend. They just want whatever. And I, I, I see that happening here, you know. So something happened, and, and again, you know, I'm thankful I previewed these conversations. Conversations happened in Singapore, you know, over the last week behind the scenes and suddenly it, they came out and said oh yeah uh nfts are assets now and you and and not not one week after they come out with that people start to see ads on instagram there's a company called cpf i love how they're using that doctor strange thing over there you know try to relate to young people kind of makes me cringe kind of makes me talk about oh you should invest in uh reits etfs bank fix all these things which again make me cringe because you know people that don't know how to invest do that but if you take a look at you know one of dr strange's left arms you know right above stocks what does that say it says nfts now for those that don't know what cpf is that is basically uh a company in singapore that's got like billions of dollars that basically manage the public's what we would call 401ks they manage their retirements and you know nfts wasn't just like a substrata of like crypto that's its own separate thing that they are declaring, nope, that's an asset. That is a. I've said, I've said this before. There are alternative assets. Some people just ahead of the governments. I mean, it just happens. It's, it's not just me. It's a bunch. Of, I guarantee you, all the other YouTubers that you see on here, same thing. They would say the same exact thing. So, when you have a company like that, and again, David, you had said in a prior interview that he's been approached by companies like that. Whether it's that particular company or a different one, I mean, he would do. He he probably meets with a bunch of them. Probably meets with everyone. Wants a piece of that man's time. I don't know how I got him on the podcast. Um, but yeah, they, they, to go and say that a country has just called these assets and they're, they're putting out ads to, to invest in them. What are they going to invest in? Uh, you know, you're taking the public's money. Are they going to invest in this, you know, uh, these crap projects that are just 2d pixelated, whatever birds, cats, pigs, like I, whatever they are. No. No, they're going to go with IP. What is like the strongest IP out there? I mean, the stuff that's on the blockchain, Disney. There's Disney Marvel. Like, like that's it. You know, Pokemon, Nintendo, sure, when they get on the blockchain. You know, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, sure, when they get, get on the blockchain. It's possible that we have all four of those conglomerates. Um, I don't know, though. Um, no, nobody really knows at this point except for maybe the team. Um, yeah, that's, that's what they're going to be investing in. Uh, so there's a lot of people out there you got your whales you got your ray fixies dr profits henry pagliuga calls him you know mr pags calls himself like a, like a small time whale i still consider him a whale that are going all in in this not including companies which which again some of the people that had been asking me for pokemon cards not all of them were people some of them were actual companies and this type of thing is going to happen in in nfts especially in vv again G gary v which Love that man. Took the legs out of Recur a little bit, saying I have a small investment in Recur. It's not really, not really a thing of mine. You know, not not really a big, big important part of my life. Um, you know, he's he's all about V friends, which I have no doubt will be successful. I'm I'm pretty sure that if if V if VV wasn't around, I'd be going all in on V friends, um, and maybe some some shadowless Pokemon cards, but could really undervalued right now. It's a whole whole other video topic. Um, what we have here is is again in a downturn people are people are scared fear is very high i think we're very oversold right now can we go lower sure absolutely i, I how much i don't know um am i am i stacking the star wars no and i'll tell you why i have i have a little bit of money and you know like nick fury says like i never put all my chips on that number though because i was playing something even riskier same thing i'm playing something even riskier i'll let you all know what that is when the time comes hopefully in the next few weeks but bottom line, people that act like that, that say like this is too much, that this will never reach that price point, they're just not around the people that can afford that that price point. I'm fortunate enough where I am around those type of people. I was those type of people at one point, you know, before the big crash. Uh, get there again, but yeah, I this this is nothing like that. That's easy, you know. When you have such a small amount of those. Uh, again, you know, 900, 950, there will be a million people that have viewed that, that video probably by, uh, probably by the time most of y'all watch this video. 
all you would have to do is go to YouTube and also smash that like button and uh, type in Star Wars Celebration live, live stream. And, and then it goes. And then he said 950,000 in, in six hours. Absolutely nuts. So what I want everyone to take, take away from all this is that this is not financial advice, but uh, there are whales and companies out there that that have like that are worth nine figures that that are worth 10 figures uh that are worth 11 figures where this is nothing this is absolutely nothing to them and they'll come again are, are they here yet um no a lot of them aren't which is gives us the advantage i again what pokemon had taught me is that sometimes cards go to collectors that aren't in pokemon sometimes cards go to collectors that aren't in pokemon Sometimes some of these NFTs, especially the low mint ones, the grails and low mint ones, will go to people that have z give zero poops about NFTs or VV. They just want top of the mountain. They just want best of the best. How do you do that? Um, they contact someone who's got a lot, bunch of feelers in. Um, I, I get again get message all the time. I cannot tell you. Hold on. My message requests absolutely filled to the heckin I will never catch up I, so I, I don't know uh, keep keep messaging me keep doing whatever if y'all want uh, that that goes on for forever um, these are incredibly undervalued I think people that are selling these right now I, I think that's a little silly um, to, to sell these like at, at the bottom now if you say like hey I have this and you know it's okay but I want this and you sell it to get that sure 100% all right if you sell it just because, oh, everything's crashing, I should sell, like, lunacy. Absolute lunacy. Again, sorry for ruffling, ruffling some jimmies here, but uh, this had to be done. Everyone, please comment, like, and subscribe. Everyone, please check out at HeyDavidDon and at KingMapsForever over on the Twitter. You got Standoff Chart and KingMaps over on the VV app. You got uh, Kobe Collects and Omi Player One over on the YouTube, RayTax.eth domain name. You got Kyle Wilson, Wendy Sabalas, Putin Cheeks, VV Las Vegas, Taps Trades, Mars Davis, Legacy, Bermuda, Sody Pop Media, Meta Lemon, and VV Vibes all on the YouTube, and you got at Wet Wizard VV and Gary O at one two three four C A three all on the Twitter. Everyone say bye bye to Dashi, bye bye Dashi, and make Long Island emo again. All right, I love you guys. Bye. Meow, meow.